Okay, so I apologize for the technical difficulties. I know it was kind of going err in the video at the end, but that was because of the low battery. Um, so I just wanted to say to you for this death and reversal card, going back to the sleepless nights here of the Nine of Swords, the worrying, staying up all night, this card in reverse also signifies sleep. So when this says this is completion, it's come to an end, this is saying that presently when you move forward, this sleepless night will end. This is signifying you will have sleep and this is just confirming that as well. That things will be working out beautifully, that your ship has come in so you will sleep well. You will have lots of options. This card is also confirming with fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. So take time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. So basically, that you have all these decisions to make, but that you will make the right one. You will be the queen of wands in this future unfolding, manifesting your dreams. Um, you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. In the future, you will take the first steps toward the changes you desire. Even if they're small steps, you will notice signs that will guide you in the right directions as well as the resources and support that miraculously just come about. And the world, the world card is an awesome card to have. It's about change. And let's see, um, just to clarify further, it is assured success, assured voyage or route, change of place. <clears throat> so if you are thinking about changing places, um, but because this was with the question, it is just basically saying like your future will be assured success in this painting endeavor or career if you decide to choose to pursue that. Um, this is confirming also for of thought to spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because over analyzing the situation will provide the answers you're seeking consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step might be so maybe in the future you want to just start meditating spending more time with nature painting in nature painting of the nature that you see um, this shows in the Eight of Pentacles, a man hard at work on one particular pentacle, even though he has all these other pentacles lined up, he's focused on this one pentacle. Now, I did get two cards for this at the same time, which means there's decisions to be made, so you might be staying neutral. And then I had these two cards, which so happened to pop out as well. So for the <clears throat> clarification of the Eight of Pentacles, you had the Nine of Abundance, which says, life is wonderful. Your hard work um, and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So it really just sounds like you're really going to work hard in the future. You're going to be able to enjoy this abundance of success that you will have. And staying neutral in your decisions um, since there will be, you know, maybe two choices that you have to make. Um, that this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. And this card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle dis difficult situations with grace. So maybe, you know, if you even have difficult situ situations arrive, you will handle it with grace. You will stay neutral. Um, you will make the d d best decisions for yourself. Um, now, for the overall energy, I had picked these cards for the final cards for past, present, and future. And this was also picked for your future final outcome 
overall. So it does say you are healed and the healing you've prayed for is on its way. So that would be for the overall future. If you do have any um, past, um, I guess, any issues with self-esteem or anything that's keeping you from painting, people telling you that you're not good enough or just your own thoughts, that that will not be so in the future. You will be healed from that. As well, in the past, the card for overall was uh, sexuality, which I thought was an unusual card to get for the past, but let's go over it. The card meaning says your sexual self needs some attention. By drawing this card, you are urged to be honest with yourself about your sexuality and to take appropriate steps. Sexuality is an important part of life, not just to our physical self, but also to our emotional and spiritual selves. The fairy realm understands the unique joy that comes from sexual experiences. They know about the divine light that is created when you merge with a beloved partner. They understand the release that sexuality brings about. By drawing this card, you are being guided to heal any sexual issues that may have arisen from negative experiences. If you were ever sexually abused, this card may signal a call for help from your inner self. You may be directed to seek professional counseling or support group to overcome negative sexual or body image issues or to heal a sexually unsatisfying relationship. The fairies will guide you to the appropriate resources so that you can be truly free to experience the dynamic ex aspects of your sexuality. And the affirmation that they give for this card is, my sexual self is attractive, healthy, and able to experience great pleasure. I kind of felt like the future card that was drawn with You Are Healed and the healing you prayed for is on its way along with this past card that... It's more to do with maybe self-esteem issues, not so much sexuality, um, but maybe in the past, like a past partner put you down a lot and made you feel bad and, and maybe put your paintings down if he knew that you painted or something like that. So maybe it's healing a past relationship that you had with yourself and a partner towards your paintings. So that's how I came off um, with that card. Um, also, presently, it says... Confirmation here. Follow your dreams. So go for it. All these cards are really telling you just to go for it. Follow your heart. Stop worrying. Everything that you want is going to happen and the people that you don't even know are just going to magically appear and help you and you're going to find these resources to be helpful. You may have to travel for them, but there's so much support and guidance in your life right now. Um, even as a loving partner, this King of Wands here is helping you and healing your emotions from the past as well. So now in the future, this is you. The butterfly, I think, is uh, self-reliance. So I think that's beautiful. Um, I just want to go a little further, if I can, on the self-reliance card. So I'm going to read this a little bit. It says, sometimes we feel frightened and want to get reassurance from another person that everything's going to be all right. By drawing this card, you are reassured that everything you need is provided to you. You can rely on yourself and your own spiritual gifts to manifest all that you need in your life. Although your manifestations are the energy of spirit that often funnels through other people, it still originates with your own thoughts. This card also counsels you to filter out negativity that may sway you from listening to your own inner voice. Don't let naysayers talk you out of fulfilling your dreams. You are as qualified and deserving of achievement as any other person. With focus, intention, and divinely guided action, your dreams are becoming reality right now. So the meaning of this card is you are your own best friend. You can provide yourself emotionally and physically for yourself. And I think that completely embodies the whole reading. So I say go for it. Don't worry. Everything's going to be great in the future. You're on the right track. You're following your heart. Okay. So I hope you like that and uh, the message and have a good day.